Hey team, today we'll be going over the uh, ECS uh, sw deployment swimlane. Um, so to get started, um, how do you configure one of these up, right? So if you take a look at the service, you'll, uh, you know, with the new services V2 experience, everything is defined in the construct of a service, meaning um, no more, if you're coming from, you know, services V1, uh, it's no more defined in the pipeline. It, all the config for the service definition, the variables, the artifact, that's all mapped together in one object called the service here. So if you look at the deployment type, you'll specify like an ECS deployment type, and then you can specify, you know, where the task definition is going to come. It, it can come from Git, and it can come from, you know, any of those Git sources and our local file store. So that's equivalent to the harness, uh, like local files or inline man manifests, if, if, if you're familiar with the current gen. Um, same concept with the service definition, uh, scalable targets and scaling policies. Uh, these can all be managed from Git, um, uh, like a remote, uh, like a, any Git source or uh, local store. Now, uh, you might be uh, curious, like, what's the scalable target and scaling policy configuration about? So um, in our, our first uh, generation of this product, uh, the user would have to provide a task definition and service definition out of the box. That was Those were required, and they still are to this day. However, uh, the scalable target and the scaling policy, they were optional, on, but they were not applied to the service. They were actually applied to a step. Um, that massage the existing task definition and service definition to add further properties like load balancer attributes or scaling target, scaling policy. They would be appended to your task definition and service definition. And this step that appended all this context was called ECS service setup. We moved away from that construct in next gen. So everything that you want to specify for your ECS task deployment and service definition deployment, uh, uh, you can now append as like the scalable target and the scaling policy as separate file json files harness will load those in and on top of that everything you define in the task definition and service definition will all be honored by harness out of the box so no more extra steps so the service is now a self-contained kind of object that doesn't require much manipulation in the in the actual deployment if you look in the environment you'll notice um, for the infra definition that's where you're going to need to give us a connector. We're going to need a region and we're going to need a cluster. So if you have an AWS connector that can access region and cluster, you should be uh, uh, golden there. Um, and then next, um, you know, we have our rolling deployment step. So uh, this is like the out of the box ability to, you know, do uh, ECS rolling deployment, which means we'll spin up. If you define five tasks, we'll spin up one at a time and we'll roll it out uh, in a one-in-one-app kind of fashion. If you're upgrading an existing service through our rolling deployment, we would upgrade the first task. Once it's good, we'd upgrade the second task and so on. Um, that's the capability ECS gives us out of the box with the rolling cap uh, deployment swimlane. Um, we also do uh, something similar with Canary where we'll roll out the Canary and, and one uh, deployment uh, of it, a uh, one instance of it, and then we can roll it out um, in a rolling fashion based off the number of uh, tasks that you've defined. And once you feel comfor comfortable with the canary, we can actually tear it down and do a full scale rollout where the existing primary, which is your live uh, traffic tasks, they will receive this traffic. Um, in a, and the new version will receive it in a one in one out fashion, meaning the new version would get up, spun up so you don't have any downtime essentially, so your services will still receive traffic. Um, you'll also have blue, green, and run task capabilities available to you. You can run an ad hoc job. Uh, it's, it's great for, you know, spinning up ad hoc tasks that don't require service definition. Um, and usually these are just jobs that are being scheduled on the cluster. Uh, for blue, green, it's the full blue, green deployment through a load balancer. We'll, uh, swap the target groups and we'll do a, um, you know, we'll, we'll manage the primary and the stage for you so you can swap, uh, you know, to the right uh, version of, or right version when we're doing the traffic uh, routing for the blue and the green. And with that, that's the ECS swim lane in a, in a five minute video here. Um, please reach out if you have any questions.